And in working on this study, was there anything that really surprised you that you weren't expecting? Because I know you had your hypothesis already, um, but was there anything that kind of was not on your radar that you found or that you're interested in exploring in the future that might not have been on your radar before? Um, well, we were really surprised about how much it really affected the whole body. So, you know, it wasn't just localized in the breast. It, the immune changes were systemic. Um, so that was surprising as well. Um, and, you know, from our point of view, it was actually quite surprising how much we couldn't find history of breastfeeding and the number of children women had had. Like it's poorly collected um, in data sets. And I think that's really um, just oncology as opposed to epidemiology. The epidemiologists to collect all this history but the oncologists don't so that was quite hard to find so we're really not going to be able to understand that fully and particular responses to immunotherapies in trials if unless we collect the data which we don't do at the moment so that was quite surprising as well how little data is actually collected yeah um do you have any thoughts on why that hasn't kind of been in the forefront in the future is it just because kind of this hypothesis is so new or is there a reason why it might have been deprioritizing the questioning process. And yeah, I mean, it's a good question. I, people don't think it's relevant for when they, you know, to their treatments of cancer, I guess. Mm -hmm. People collect um, if you have children after your diagnosis of breast cancer, but they don't actually collect how many children you've had before and whether you breastfed um, leading up to your diagnosis of breast cancer, it seems. From the studies we found, it's extremely rare. So I think that was actually, it's a, it's a bit of, it's a pity actually. Um, but hopefully that will be happen more now. Mm 